So guys, today I'm gonna give you 10 tips to get to 10% body fat. Tips which helped me achieve that and how you can do the same. So tip number one is set clear goals. So uh, first thing first, set clear and realistic goals because knowing where you want to go is crucial for creating a plan that works for you. Whether it's a specific event, a fitness milestone or just a personal challenge, having a goal will keep you motivated basically. So uh, will keep you motivated throughout your journey. You have to remind yourself all the time why you want to achieve this uh, so you will always know what you are fighting for. Tip number two is develop a nutrition plan. So your diet plays a major role in reaching 10% body fat. So focus on a well-balanced diet that includes lean proteins, healthy fats and complex carbohydrates. So consider tracking your macronutrients to ensure you're in calorie deficit because this is the key to uh, take away your body fat. So I strongly recommend the app which I'm using. It's uh, the name of the app is my fitness pal. It's easy to track calories and learn about the food you are eating, including how many calories each food item contains. If you want to know how many calories should you eat, uh, this is actually very simple. Um, I will start by multiplying your current weight by 24. So this will give you a starting point. Observe uh, whether you are losing or gaining weight. If losing, uh, add 200 calories and reassess. If gaining, uh, just reduce by 200 calories. It will take some time to figure out the exact number of calories needed to maintain your body weight. But uh, in the end, you're gonna just get it right, yeah? So in terms of examples of uh, good food you can eat, I will recommend the ones you are currently seeing on your screen. Uh, this is my own create menu. Um, yeah, menu we can say. Uh, feel free to pause the video to take a closer look. Uh, I will also have this uh, free uh, resource in the description so uh, you can basically download and learn by yourself or you can just pause the video uh, how you want it. So we will find examples of proteins like chicken, turkey and eggs, uh, carbohydrates such as rice and potatoes and fats like olive oil and avocado and one very important thing is that you should maybe consider going to the uh, doctor to see if you are not allergic to those things because actually I cannot really eat eggs and I cannot uh, drink milk. If I'm gonna consume those uh, things I will not only feel bad but my stomach will really explode so I'm actually uh, using vegan one not because I'm vegan but there is no milk inside the protein powder so this is very important because if you're gonna eat something that kills you in the end i mean not really kills you but harms your body you should really consider to take this out of your diet as soon as possible so tip number three is prioritize protein now this is very important because protein is your best friend uh, when it comes to fat loss it helps preserve muscle mass boost metabolism and keeps you feeling full. So include sources like chicken, fish, eggs and plant-based proteins in your meals because proteins will keep you full. They're really filling when you eat them and because of that you will simply consume fewer calories and be less inclined to reach for sweets and other unhealthy options. So um, tip number four which is high intensity interval training. Uh, so this is the workout routine which you can implement uh, Hate basically what is what is the short name of that is a powerful tool for burning calories and boosting your metabolism It's it's time efficient and can be adapted to various exercise such as spins Cycling or bodyweight exercise and you have to include gym or bodyweight exercise to maintain your muscle mass This is a must However, uh, believe it or not, you don't really have to spend all your time running on the treadmill and pushing yourself to the point where you can enjoy life because while running is beneficial, it's not a must and in the end what matters is achieving a calorie deficit. Remember to keep 85% of your food unprocessed. The remaining percentage can include some junk food. Uh, it's of course all about the balance. I'm not telling you to eat 100% all the time healthy because most of us people like junk food uh, however 
if you're gonna eat most of the time which is 85-90% unprocessed food this 10% will not really make that harm to you as a person so it's all about balance and you should really uh, know that so tip number five which is also this is very important if you want to maintain your muscle mass which is uh, the tip five is lift heavy weights uh, don't neglect strength training because lifting heavy weights help preserve muscle mass which is crucial during a fat loss journey so aim for compound exercise like squats deadlifts and bench press to maximize your efforts while you are in calorie deficit it's important to know that your muscle mass may decrease along with your weight however um, there are things you can do to prevent this uh, such as going to the gym to maintain muscle mass like i'm saying in this video all the time this is a must um, additionally ensure you eat a minimum of two grams of protein per kilogram of body weight for example if you weight 80 kilograms your daily protein goal should be at least 160 grams of protein and uh, like i said you can get this those proteins from the menu i just created so you can like i said go down below and download it so tip number six is get enough sleep uh, sleep is often underrated but crucial for fat loss lack of sleep can disrupt hormonal balance leading to increased cravings and a slower metabolism so aim for seven uh, to nine hours of quality sleep each night to support your body transformation sleep is very very important if you want to do some sort of transformation in your life because sleep is basically everything with diet it's very very important to get good quality sleep because this is the time when your body basically recover so uh, believe it or not a significant portion of your body process occurs during sleep uh, if you get less sleep it's more likely that you won't feel well and you are also more likely to reach for junk food so less sleep can make achieving fat loss more difficult tip number seven is stay hydrated so hydration is a key for overall health and can aid in weight loss uh, so drinking enough water helps control appetite supports digestion and can even boost your metabolism so carry a bottle of water uh, with you throughout the day uh, to just stay on track and uh, i recommend to drink in two to three liters of water per day uh, but keep in mind that the ideal amount may vary uh, based on your climate and your lifestyle so uh, this is just my recommendation however everything depends on the climate you are in and your lifestyle so if you're living in dubai you're probably gonna wanna drink more water. So tip number eight is to manage stress. Stress can sabotage your efforts to achieve your dream of 10% of body fat. So practice stress reducing techniques such as meditation, deep breathing, to just keep cortisol levels in check and promote a positive mindset. So avoid stressful surroundings as they can also impact your fat loss journey negatively. Number nine, which is very important for you is to be consistent. Consistency is the name of the game. Uh, just stay committed to your nutrition and your workout plan because this is not a sprint, it's just simply a marathon. And uh, your body needs time to change gradually. If you try to achieve results too quickly uh, for the sake of fast outcomes, you might compromise your health. Rushing to the process can lead to negative health consequences and there is a high likelihood that you will revert to your original weight faster than you think. So tip number 10 uh, is to monitor progress and adjust. Um, this is very important to know where you're going towards. Regularly monitor your progress and be willing to adjust your plan because your body response to a diet and exercise might change over time. Stay flexible and make adjustments as needed. Uh, you should over time incorporate different options. Uh, so if you're constantly eating chicken, uh, I will consider switching to something equally lean uh, but different uh, such as lean fish or turkey different foods uh, have different vitamins so if you're eating chicken all the time you will not get vitamins from beef for example and uh, that's why it's very crucial to change the food uh, over time so there you have it uh, 10 tips to help you achieve 10% body fat now i want you to remember that this journey is about progress not perfection uh, if you found these tips helpful, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments which tip 
resonate with you the most. And what I wanted to tell you is that um, just keep in mind that having 12 or 15 percent body fat is still healthy and feeling good at that level so you're happy with your body it's just completely fine uh, it's also easier to maintain this body fat level however uh, being overweight is not healthy so just make sure that you are not overweight to the point that it's just consider you unhealthy person so that's all for now until the next one stay fit and healthy